dear students so today we will be discussing a problem on minimization and we will see how we can solve this lpp of minimization problem using simplex method okay so here this uh, question is minimize z is equal to x1 minus 3x2 plus 2x3 this is our objective function minimize z is equal to x1 minus 3x2 plus 2x3 subjected to the following constraints so you have three constraints here the first one is 3x1 minus x2 plus 3x3 less than or equal to 7 minus 2x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 12 minus 4x1 plus 3x2 plus 8x3 less than or equal to 10 and x1 comma x2 comma x3 greater than or equal to 0 now just like i have told in the last session uh, in this particular problem everything is given in mathematical terms it is not a uh, problem which is given in words it's already given in mathematical thing so you have to uh, the first step is formulating the lpp this is already a formulated lpp okay so you don't have to worry about it now you have your objective function clear and it is subjected to the following constraint so directly we will move on to the second step what is the second step second step is converting the inequalities into equation okay first step is formulating lpp so this is a already a formulated lpp now you have to convert the inequalities into equation now just see the objective function this is minimization last time we did maximization problem now in minimization problem minimization problem we can solve in different ways one we are using we are directly converting the minimization problem into maximization problem and in normal case how we will solve a simple lpp using simplex method the same procedure is followed or else you can introduce artificial variables and surplus variables and solve now here we are going to follow the first method that is the simple method you directly convert this minimization problem into a maximization problem by changing the sign of the objective function okay so how do we convert minimization to maximization so in order to convert minimization problem To maximization problem what we what you need to do is you have to directly put negative sign you have to multiply the whole thing with negative one okay so this particular that is minimize z is equal to x, x1 minus 3x2 plus 2x3 will be converted to maximization problem so you can write maximize is a dash now this is not is it is a dash when you are converting you have to put is a dash is a dash is equal to you are multiplying this function throughout by negative 1 so it is minus x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 clear so whenever you are converting a minimization function to a minimization problem to a maximization problem you have to multiply the objective function throughout by what negative 1 okay so this becomes minus x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 so this is our new objective function clear now you should remember one thing whenever we are converting this minimization function to a maximization function the constraints will remain as such you don't have to touch the constraints constraints will be same so it is subjected to the same constraint 3x1 minus x2 plus 3x3 less than or equal to 7 again minus 2x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 12 and again you have the third constraint minus 4x1 plus 3x2 plus 8x3 less than or equal to 10 so these three constraints will remain as such only the objective function is changing and here again x1 comma x2 comma x3 will be greater than or equal to 0 this is clear okay so after you have done with this that is uh, converting the minimization to maximization the next se step is same as that what we are doing in the maximization problem that is we have to convert these particular inequalities that is these inequalities into equation so how do we do that for that we have to introduce the slack variables so when we introduce the slack variables the first constraint how it will become that will be 3x1 minus x2 plus 3x3 right plus s1 will be equal to 7 this is our first constraint now this is the first constraint you can rearrange and write it in this way as well how 3x1 minus x2 plus 3x3 plus s1 plus 0 s2 plus 0 s3 is equal to 7 clear so this is our first constraint clear now again how do we write the second constraint second constraint will be minus 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 0s1 plus s2 plus 0s3 is equal to 12. Remember here there is no x3. So you can put it in this way also. So you can add one s3 here if you want plus 0x3. 
okay because there is no x ray this would be better if you do this because if you are adding this then when you are writing it in the simplex table you it will be easy for you to understand so this is our second constraint now what is the third constraint that is minus 4x1 plus 3x2 plus 8x3 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 plus s3 which is equal to 10 this is the third constraint so now you have the first constraint second constraint and third constraint here clear now again objective function that is the z dash we have converted the minimization to maximization so z dash will be equal to how much minus x1 plus 3x2 plus sorry minus 2x3 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 plus 0s3 okay so this is our objective function now how do we write this objective function in matrix form when you are writing the objective function in matrix form it will become minus 1 3 minus 2 0 0 0 into x1 x2 x3 s1 s2 s3 okay clear now this is your matrix form how this is the matrix form of writing the objective function now when you are writing your constraints in matrix form it will be like this you have x1 here x2 x3 s1 s2 s3 okay i'm writing in a matrix form this is equal to you have your xb here okay so it is easy for you to write it in a simplex table when you are practicing this okay so when you're writing this how do you do this so x1 x2 x3 same thing see the, this is the first constraint so this becomes 3 minus 1 3 1 0 0 right when i write the second constraint it becomes minus 2 4 then x3 is 0 0 1 0 then it is minus 4 this is the third constraint okay minus 4 3 8 0 0 1 so this will be equal to 7 12 10 clear so this is the matrix form of writing this now what we have to do is we have to draw the simplex table so i am going to draw my simplex table okay this is the first simplex table my first simplex table what is my first simplex table so i have my first column now tell me how many columns will be there now i have three introduced variables sorry three existing variables three introduced variables so my number of column will be number of columns formula is m plus n plus 3 which is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 so you will have 